hedgehogs. Hogs of the hedges. Stay tuned. Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to, there we go, a random review. I am Random Ross and today I am reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, based on the game franchise of the same name, uh, directed by Jeff Fowler, um, written by Pat Cassie and Josh Miller, uh, starring James Marsden, Ben Schwartz, uh, Tika, Tika Sump, Supta, and Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, or Dr. Eggman. So, this follows Sonic the Hedgehog, how he you know, came from his own world to our world, and how he you knew and then he like lives it on Earth for a while till he draws attention to himself and is hunted down by the government by Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, but along the way Sonic befriends um, a guy named Tom, played by James Marsden, and um, you know, they go on the run because Sonic, you know, they go on the run to help Sonic get retrieve the rings he lost because he has rings that take him from one world to the next and he gets lost uh, and as he's transferring to the next world he gets jumped and he's thinking of San Francisco so they have to go to San Francisco to get his rings um, and along the way there they go through many obstacles of robots and crazy stuff from Robotnik or Eggman played by Jim Carrey so um, I'm gonna get straight to the likes and dislikes First of all, let's get down to the look of Sonic. Now, the first trailer for this caused so much uproar that Paramount actually listened for once and redesigned Sonic. And I have to say, he looked a lot better in this. Way better now. He looked like more like the his cartoon counterpart. Uh, so yeah, I like that they improved the design on Sonic and I, I liked that he looked similar to the cartoon Sonic but was still altered for live action. Uh, I also thought Jim Carrey was okay as Robotnik and why he isn't fat and why he doesn't have a bald head or that crazy tash. Well, from the first teaser trailer you do see him like that so yeah, he does eventually embrace part of the original Eggman look. Just not the fat bit yet. Um, yeah, I also liked the friendship and buddiness that Sonic and uh, Tom had. And I also liked the comedy in there. There were some good comedic moments in there that were funny. And I have to admit, I chuckled a couple of times. Um, of course, dislikes. Now, I didn't like that we didn't get any of the other characters. We got Sonic in this. We got Robotnik. But we didn't get any Tails or Knuckles. However, there is a mid credit scene. So do stick about for that. There is a mid credit scene where we do get... A cameo from someone I, I don't want to say I want to keep this spoiler free but be sure to stick around for that it is so worth it and I did actually like what they did with it uh, I also liked um, you know I like that they actually got off their asses and improved the effects uh, I also liked the story and I also liked the comedy but there were a few flaws here and there like some effects were you could tell were CGI but not all of them were uh, there was some moments in there that were fun and entertaining and enjoyable and yeah they do um you know they do have some good stuff going on there uh, going on it but there were a few flaws with this uh, including some parts where robotnik i felt was a bit too cocky 
yeah, he was cocky and arrogant and I didn't really like that. I liked him to be a grumpy fat man with a big crazy tash like he is in the cartoons. Not like a bit of a bully and uh, thinks he knows everything. But, you know, I put that down to the writing. Jim Carrey did a good enough performance. Uh, will there be a sequel? I don't know. Clearly with the effects and the fixing they did on Sonic's design, I imagine they are, are like wanting it to work so they can make a sequel. And if they do make a sequel, let's hope it features Tails and Knuckles. Uh, because they definitely leave things in motion for one, so whether we'll get one or not, I don't know yet. It's early days, this film's only been out about a week, so we've got more to come on that. So, yeah, so my ratings now, Sonic the Hedgehog, I thought was okay. It was alright, it wasn't brilliant, but it was okay. So, um, my ratings, I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog... Do you know what? I'll give it a 3 out of 5, because it wasn't bad, uh, but it wasn't brilliant either. It was good. It was it was okay. Watchable. It's about 90 minute, 98 minutes long, um, and it didn't feel like it dragged on or anything, but um, yeah, if you've got kids or, you know, the kids loved it, because I was in the cinema and there were a lot of kids around and they were loving it, so kids will like it. Uh, so yeah. After nearly 30 years, Sonic the Hedgehog gets the the big live, uh, big silver screen treatment. Was it worth it? I'd say it were, but yeah. I just like that they improved the effects. So yeah, that's it for this one. So yeah, that has been my review on Sonic the Hedgehog. Have you seen this one? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. Uh, if you like horror and who, I have two channels dedicated to those up there in the cards above or down below. Feel free to check it all out. So yeah, this has been a random review on Sonic the Hedgehog. I've been Random Ross and this has been a random review. So until next time, I bid you all the goodbye friends. Goodbye.